Welcome to SATCONS 101, an educational activity of the International Astronomical Union's Center for the Protection of the Dark and Quiet Sky from Satellite Constellation Interference, or CPS. This activity aims to promote factual understanding of large satellite constellations in order to help participants come to reasoned and informed opinions about this important social and technological issue. Today's topic is impacts on biology, culture, and heritage. The Center's mission is to coordinate efforts and unify voices across the global astronomical community with regard to the protection of the dark and quiet sky from satellite constellation interference. My name is John Barentine, and I co-lead the Community Engagement Hub of CPS. My training is in optical and infrared astronomy, and my current professional work involves freelance consulting. Since 2019, I have worked on policy and advocacy issues around large satellite constellations. I will present to you on today's topic. These are the learning objectives of the SATCONS 101 curriculum. Participants will gain exposure to these ideas in the course of viewing all of the presentations in this series. Opportunities to learn more about any given topic will be offered in each module, as well as to contact the Center for further information. SATCONS 101 is a series of learning modules covering eight broad subject areas. Each module is a short, self-contained video presentation covering one of the subject areas. They can be viewed individually, or in any combination up to the full set. Viewing all eight presentations constitutes exposure to the complete SATCONS 101 curriculum. Today, we will focus on the topic of impacts on biology, culture, and heritage. In the next few minutes, I will discuss each of the following elements that relate to the topic of this video. Professional astronomers are not the only people who access the night sky for meaningful purposes. Throughout time and across cultures, starry night skies have inspired people around the world. Such a view of the cosmos has inspired great works of art, literature, and music. The night sky and the viewing of celestial objects are important in many cultural and religious traditions. Many indigenous communities have teachings tied to the constellations, the Milky Way, and other celestial phenomena. Seeing these phenomena is already difficult in many places due to light pollution. Now, the appearance of many bright satellites stands to further alter the appearance of the night sky. A growing number of individuals from diverse communities have expressed concern about these changes to the night sky. They point out a need for consultation before the launch of objects that will be visible in the night sky. Satellites are not a new phenomenon. When the first satellite was launched in 1957, people wondered how it would change the appearance of the night sky. Initial feelings of wonder and even dread receded once the experience of seeing them became routine. Very bright objects, like the International Space Station, caused a resurgence of interest. From a dark location, until recently, one might have seen a few satellites cross the sky each hour. As the number of visible satellites increases, some people are now reconsidering the situation. This is in part because of the worldwide visibility of satellites. They are visible at night even in the most remote parts of the globe. Unlike ground-based light pollution, there is no place on the planet where one can go to view a night sky free of visible satellites. Absent large reductions in satellite brightnesses, such impacts will only increase in the future. In coming decades, the only pristine views of the night sky may come far from Earth. This would close off an unobstructed view of the cosmos to virtually all people. Such an outcome raises concerns about equity and social justice. The night sky is part of our collective heritage as human beings. Some people engage in amateur astronomy or stargazing as a hobby. Others simply enjoy taking in the view of a magnificent night sky unaltered by human impacts. Many find inspiration from the night sky and experience feelings of wonder and awe. 
they also report a sense of connectedness to the cosmos. For some, experiencing unpolluted night skies can bring a sense of peace, tranquility, and well-being. For many indigenous communities, the stars in the Milky Way are inextricably linked to many teachings. The presence of many bright, moving objects will change the appearance of the night sky, and the nature of humans' experience and relationship with the night sky may change as well. To the extent that satellites and space debris brighten the night sky, it reduces the visibility of astronomical objects. This effect is especially important as objects become very small, such as the smallest fragments of space debris. Faint phenomena can become unobservable. It may interfere with certain traditional cultural practices. While there are mitigations to reduce the impact of satellites on professional astronomy, no equal exists for observations with the unaided eye. The only known means of limiting the effects is to prevent collisions among space objects and limit the orbital congestion of near-Earth space. Indigenous peoples and nations have generally not been consulted about the uses of outer space or the resulting effects on the night sky. There's a long history of disrespect for their sovereignty and rights and a disregard of treaties. Individuals from indigenous nations have expressed concern about increasing numbers of satellites altering the appearance of the night sky. Some have described this as another form of pollution or colonization. Several indigenous members of the SATCON 2 Community Engagement Working Group emphasize the importance of consultation with indigenous sovereign nations prior to companies and governments doing things that could profoundly change the night sky. They noted that while many indigenous nations would like to increase community members' access to broadband internet, a method which presupposes that companies know exactly what communities need can be problematic. This is not a binary issue of internet versus night skies. The reality is much more complex and perhaps solutions can be found which address all aspects of these issues. Indigenous peoples have their own governance, rights, and needs. The United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples notes many such rights. The night sky plays an important role in the living cultural traditions of many peoples. For them, it is not simply a pretty backdrop to look at. Thus, changing the appearance of the night sky can impact cultural practices. The Dark and Quiet Skies 2 report noted the importance of consulting with diverse stakeholders who stand to be impacted by changes to the night sky, as well as respecting the rights of indigenous peoples. Increased consultation and the development of respectful, long-term relationships with communities who may be affected by outer space activities would help begin to address long-standing issues in the decision-making process. Humans are not the only life on Earth that may be affected by the light of satellites and space objects. Reduced visibility of stars and the Milky Way may affect the behaviors of some migratory species. For example, one species of dung beetle active at night appears to orient itself using the light of the Milky Way. Moving lights in the night sky, or a brighter sky altogether, may confuse species that rely on light cues in the sky for navigation. Both laboratory and field research have shown that some species are incredibly sensitive to exposure to artificial light at night. Few studies to date looked specifically at the possible impacts of satellite brightness on biological communities. There is much we do not yet know about this topic and it requires further study. Thank you for watching this presentation. For additional information about this and other subjects related to large satellite constellations and their impacts on astronomy and the space environment, contact the center at the address or website shown here.